Hello everyone. So I'm Professor Harshit and I'm back with one more video on the CFA scholarship process. Uh, so when I posted the previous video on the essay that how do you actually form the CFA access scholarship essay, a lot of you all asked me, sir, how do we exactly apply for the CFA scholarship? So I'm making this short video to just explain you how do you apply for the CFA scholarship. Before I move ahead, I will just remind you, do not forget to subscribe to our channel. I'll be keeping on posting a lot of such videos regarding finance, upskilling, etc. on this channel of Leap Up EduTech. Okay, so how do you, what are the steps? What do you do? So students who are not yet registered on the CFA Institute website, the first thing you need to do is create an account. So you go to the CFA Institute website and if you haven't yet registered, you just need to go to create an account and once you click out there, uh, you will get a lot of details, your email ID, etc, etc and you will create a new account. So this is the first thing you need to do. So just create an account because till the time you haven't created an account, you cannot apply for the scholarship. Now let's assume that you've already created an account uh, or you already had an account. So you log in. Once you log in, you have this thing called as my account out here. You click on my account. Uh, once you click out here, you will see the scholarships out here. Do you see the scholarships? You click on scholarships. Once you click on scholarships, you will get like multiple options. My internet is loading. Can you wait? Um, yes, yes, correct. So what we can do is we need to just apply or I can say create a new application. That's what we need to do. So I'll again go out here. Let me one thing I had once tried previously. So I'll delete that specific app, uh, application and we'll try for a new application. So this will result. So you'll have something called as no applications out here. Then it asks you, please choose a program from our program listings page to get started. So you go to view programs. So once you go to view programs, you got a list of the programs they have. Uh, what do you need to apply for? You need to apply for the CFA access scholarship right now. So we go to CFA access scholarship, we do more. So once we do more, uh, now we'll ask, ask you details. So they say that, okay, you know, just read the basic things that it's designed to make CFA program more available to individuals who cannot ideally afford and not and are not registered yet for the exam. That's what I told you last time. If you are not registered, that's when you can apply. So you have to register on the website, but remember not register for the exam. So you have to create an account on the website, but you cannot register for the exam before applying for the scholarship. So now if you click apply out here. So now the application process for the CFA access scholarship starts. How does the, the whole screen look like? So this, this is the thing. So first thing you need to do is you need to click out here on the tasks. It will be a form which they'll ask you. It's an uh, uh, acknowledgement. They are just giving you the basic rules. You need to read those specific rules. Click here, then do next. This is the start of the application where you're just agreeing to the terms and conditions. Now comes to which country you are from, which country ka CFA member society uh, you will be a part of. So I am from India. I'll be selecting India. And I'm sure a lot of you are watching also will be from India. So let's select India. If you just select this, nothing will come ahead. After this, you also need to select CFA Society India. So don't, like most people keep on asking me, sir, after selecting India also, we can't proceed because just selecting India is not enough. After you select India, select CFA Society India. Click on that. That's when you can go ahead. Exam level, let's assume you are giving CFA program level one. Date of birth and month, uh, year, etc. So it's MMDDYY. So whatever your date of birth is. So my birth date is 26 June 0626-1990. Gender, me, uh, male, first name Harshit, Shah, email ID, and your address, etc., etc. You put put up those things. So I'm just putting up anything right now. City Mumbai, that's where I'm from, and province Maharashtra. So this is what I've done. So you just put in the details. Country again, you put in India. So once you put in this, they'll ask you these two specific things: British Indian Ocean Territory or India. You will select India. So once you selected this, you filled in all these details. Please remember this thing which I told you. Once you select India, you have to select CFA Society India out here. You again do next. So you go to the next page, which is basically where you talk about the income which you have and the essay. So please indicate. So first thing, financial information. The following required information will be used by CFA Institute to evaluate your application and financial need. 
dependents please indicate the number of individuals in your household who rely upon you for financial support so if uh, if you are a student and no one is relying upon you as of now you can select zero if you are a working professional if you already having a job and you let's assume stay with your parents grandparents brother etc whatever it is you select the number of people in your house who rely upon you for your financial support in fact even as a student you can select some because the idea is after cfa you will be supporting them financially so just select the number of people staying in your house who will be dependent upon you so let's assume my house we are six of us so i'm selecting five more people actually depend upon me for the financial support are, are you currently employed yes no so i am currently employed i'll say yes and i write the employer name does your employer reimburse the program fees answer is no for me and if you're not employed you can say no so this is how you do so please select the right numbers out here don't just fake anything they can check whatever they want later on next is the annual household gross income so what is the total income which everyone in your house together earn so it's a household income it's not just your income okay so it's your salary your spouse's salary family business income whatever is there all of that and this is in dollars so multiply it 80 so it's like 8 lakhs 8 to 16 16 to 24 24 to 32 and above 32 lakhs in rupees so it's 8 to 32 lakhs so it's 8 to 32 lakhs in rupees so see what is your income uh, for example my income uh, bracket like the total amount of money which my household loans fills in out uh, falls in out here so i'll select 20 to 30000 so see what where uh, does it uh, i can say fit into and don't lie select whatever is the truth okay please remember if you are actually above this the probability of getting a scholarship is less but remember that there are real people who require the scholarship because if you are earning about 32 lakhs i'm sure you can afford uh, doing a cfa so don't don't just fake this because by chance if they check and if you are caught then you will be in a much bigger mess so uh, just select the right thing okay so let's just select it this next they ask you what is the total number of assets your household owns so your car your vehicle uh, house land etc like total value of the assets real estate vehicle savings and investment other investments etc again so this 25000 is 20 lakhs so 20 less than 20 20 to uh, 40 40 to 60 60 to 80 lakhs or above 80 lakhs it's a total amount of assets that you own so for example for my family it's greater than one because uh, the house itself in bombay is like in crores that's how the property is out here are so this is what i select so these are things i've selected next i'll write the essay so if you see the previous uh, i can say video which i uploaded uh, the link for the same i will put in the description below out here uh, you have to write a 250 word essay telling the cfa institute that why do you think you deserve as well as why do you think you need the scholarship you write this essay out here please remember it has to be between 1 to 250 words as soon as it goes to even 251 words this won't accept as you write harshit shah is two words so in two words this will Like once I do by clicking here, you're expressing a acknowledgement, etc. You can mark it as complete. If it is less than two one word or above two fifty words, you will not be able to mark it as complete. Okay, please remember this thing. Once you let's say you have two fifty one words, you you click out there, it will come that the essay uh, limit has been exceeded. So please be sure the number of words you are using, and then you mark it as complete. As you mark it as complete, your application will be done. this is how you apply for the access scholarship now except for this one a couple of more things i need to do tell you please remember very important your results for this september 22 window will come no later than 15th december that's what they've told please do not register for the exam before the results if you've registered before the results you will not get the scholarship now there are two things which can happen either you get the scholarship or you do not get the scholarship if you get the scholarship you can register for any upcoming exam in the next one year for just 250 dollars if you do not get the scholarship you still get to register for any upcoming exam at the early bird fees so even if you do not get the scholarship and you want to register for the may 23 attempt you will still be able to register with the early bird even though the early bird date has gone away so remember this thing so that's how they do it like even if you do not get the scholarship they know that you are someone who wanted a scholarship so at least will they'll allow you to register with the early bird fees that's what they've been doing up till now so please remember this thing there is one thing i want to tell you a uh, second thing a lot of students asked me when they saw the sample essay so we do not uh, haven't done internships or we haven't done upskillings etc 
Raj, if you haven't done it, do it. That's all I can tell you. Irrespective of the scholarship, if you actually want to make a career in core finance, uh, only a CFA will not suffice. Uh, or I can say won't be enough in this competitive market. You need to have practical skills. So, uh, like, obviously, if you had done it previously, it would have helped you in the scholarship. But if you haven't done it, you can't, uh, like, all you can do is you can just do it now so that even if you don't get the scholarship, you at least get a good job after you've done your CF. Correct. So, uh, please remember this thing. What all can you all upskill in? I really need to know Excel extremely well. Financial modeling, valuation. You can do equity research, some course around it. You can upskill in investment banking. You can upskill in uh, dashboards like Power BI, Google Data Studio. Uh, you can even learn Python. So these are the various things you can do to upskill. And obviously, you can learn technical analysis and then start trading uh, on the markets in actual. Because uh, all of those things make a huge difference when you go for uh, job interviews, especially financial modeling valuation uh, in a core finance interview. So uh, yeah, that's it. So wishing everyone all the best for... Uh, the CFI Access Scholarship. Uh, hope people who deserve it, they get it. People who need it, they get it. Um, and wishing you all, all the best again for the uh, CFA program or CFA journey. Uh, just reminding, if you want to know how to actually write the essay, uh, go to the pre previous videos. Link will be given in the description below out here. And uh, if you all have any doubts, uh, any more questions, you can put it in the comment section and I will try and answer all of them one by one. Chika? Hello, I'll see you all. Uh, goodbye and all the best.